We're live at Newsom Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho oh, ho, va 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 voom. And it's first and ten. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. He refuses to go down. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Third and four. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Hope. Five on that play. Second down and five. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third and two. QB should throw it and catch it too. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down! First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second, ten, and four. 
cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the iq of a rutabaga after that hit. third and two for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. A mix of tiger blood, blood and comments. Blood rage brings out the worst in anyone. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. That's probably why he missed. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Glenn, why is it that... And We've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And 
It's first and ten. Hey, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. They all have. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. That's a six yard gain. Third down and long. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? It's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Ghost <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck, Block. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Third down and six. The defense had enough with this ref. Just offside to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh. Looks like a pass and. It's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, uh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, yep. then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Get on, up. Get on up. Get up. Get 
Second down in a very lot. And he made a mistake there, throwing into tight cover. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and six. It's two yard run before he stopped. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Third down and three. Calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife gets them. I take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. on that run. Second down and seven. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Uh, I love it. Oh, sure now. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal for collecting my money on time, Graham. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Oh, what a brutal hit. And this rip is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. It's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> first down and three. Second down and two. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down and five. Oh. 
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. A nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he'll pick up seven yards on that play. <laughs> Second and three. <laughs> He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, man, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down and long. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Third down and ten. Perfect pass and a score! He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. No. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second and three. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down.
And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And that'll bring up second and one. in football the mighty punter nice punt should move him back nicely nice catch and he turns on the afterburners punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns let's see if he beats the odds man what a hit that was And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Six. And Corwin passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I don't think snags. You got hit by a car and died. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brain? Scramble or fry? Oh, now the offense is getting kills? Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Here comes the defense. The 20. He's at the 10. And lightsaber there. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. about a three-yard pickup. And it's first and ten. Oh, that 
was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. You can't hit. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. First down and six. It's working. And then the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Well, why go for one when you can It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking about... You want to do some fun on your time! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. And it's first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. <laughs> oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The defense takes its final time out. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. First down and six. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, they kicked the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Oh, as expected, but they're pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. The name is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Oh, you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku. I like 
like this, they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. He got blown to shit. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. The Nestle Lycans win it home. And fans here are liking what they're hearing. Oh, that's kind of like a poem. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls to dance on a pole or something. Girls, wait. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.